Good day, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I'm your host, the Voice of Reason. So in this episode, we're going to do another extended uh, coverage episode of the ongoing conflict inside of Tigray. So what's new on the ground? Um, well, we are receiving information um, from the uh, from Finland's uh, foreign ministry that uh, basically states the conflict is out of control. That uh, from a human rights perspective, um, probably one of the uh, the uh, top human rights disasters on the planet right now. But not only that, in terms of actual conflict, in terms of actual fighting, if you look at other conflicts that are going on around the globe, from Yemen uh, to the uh, Donsk to eastern Ukraine to Libya and, uh, and places elsewhere, Syria, the level of conflict the intensity of the fighting is on par or exceeds many of these other places in the world as we speak. Now, granted, was the intensity as, uh, as uh, harsh as what occurred in Syria two years ago? No, maybe not. But as we speak now, the intensity of the fighting is... Uh, is is uh, is incredible. So what is going on on the ground as we speak? So right now uh, we can report that, uh, and we did this yesterday in terms of the uh, area around uh, Samre, uh, Gidget, and uh, really just kind of central uh, Tigray, this area where my my cursor is kind of hovering around. The uh, Ethiopian federal forces are uh, suffering setbacks and are locating themselves uh, predominantly in this area, Mekele, and then they're trying to keep the roadways open uh, that go into uh, uh, southern Ethiopia, Ethiopia proper. We're also hearing that uh, obviously Ethiopia, the EDF, the Ethiopian Defense Forces, was aware that uh, it had taken losses inside of Samre, and uh, there were soldiers being held uh, captive inside of Samre. And apparently, uh, there are initial reports that a relief force was uh, ordered to uh, to head toward Samre to alleviate the situation. And uh, there's, there's a couple of different things coming out of that uh, uh, force that was sent. Uh, one, it refused to move. It, it uh, initially was uh, heading in that direction when it figured out that uh, it was uh, having to go to Samre. Uh, the column stopped and it refused to move. And then there's other reports that... Uh, uh, indeed, another unit did try to uh, maneuver toward Samre and uh, uh, became uh, under uh, heavy fire, and uh, it, uh, it it could move no further. But uh, it looks like, as of right now, um, we're probably not going to see uh, any sort of movement again in that direction, um, and, and obviously that could change. Um, but we uh, shall see. Uh, in terms of uh, Eatria, again, we uh, continue to hear reports of uh, uh, Eatrian identification cards being handed out uh, predominantly up in towards these northern areas where it appears the uh, Eatrians believe that they have annexed uh, this land, uh, quite possibly all the way up into uh, to Axum. Um, I think there are some Eatrian combat units that believe that uh, that Axum, uh, Shire, Adagrat is uh, is actually now part of Eatria. 
And uh, on the comment section, it's kind of interesting that there are many uh, Eatrians that believe that this area uh, is part of, uh, of Eatria. So uh, we'll see how that develops. Um, but again, uh, the fighting continues. It's very difficult to get uh, governmental reports. And uh, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, family members uh, inside of uh, Addis Ababa and other towns and villages around Ethiopia who have not heard back from their children who are fighting in this conflict. And because of the lack of transparency and lack of reporting or the lack of the ability to report, uh, many of these uh, Ethiopians are, are not receiving reports in, in cases that their loved ones may have uh, become wounded or deceased in the conflict. But uh, again, it, it continues, and as we get information, um, as we hear things that uh, we, uh, we think are valid uh, to report, uh, we shall re report them. And uh, again, uh, I appreciate uh, the, uh, the efforts that have been made to uh, get the channel information and report uh, things that have occurred uh, to both people on the ground inside of uh, Tigray and uh, Addis Ababa proper. So I think there are many concerns about the conflict. There are concerns both inside of Ethiopia proper and obviously uh, uh, Tigray. I mean, that that's the, the big concern right now is the human rights disaster that is occurring and and just back to these numbers that we're hearing you know two million people uh, are in jeopardy of starvation two million people so people often ask why uh, the international community did nothing uh, in the case of rwanda and that happened fairly fast well this is a slow moving disaster and I don't I don't want to say slow moving that kind of negates the seriousness of this disaster but you can see it unfolding before your eyes we have people talking about it from from all across the globe all sorts of media outlets are incredibly concerned but the problem is is this government uh, inside of Addis Ababa is not letting the international community in to help alleviate the situation. And it could very quickly.